Hey, that way you curious minds out there? It's Professor Schnugendugan, and today we're unraveling a fantastic tale of creativity and patriotism. We're diving into the origin story of the modern day United States flag. And it all started as a high school project by a young lad named Bob Heft. Picture this, it was the late 1950s and our nation had 48 states, but Hawaii and Alaska were knocking on the door eager to join the club. So Bob Heft, a high school junior from Ohio, had an idea. He thought, why not design a flag that includes these two new states, just in case? Now, designing a flag isn't a walk in the park. Bob had to figure out how to arrange 50 stars, and after some serious creativity and effort, he nailed it. But there was a catch. His teacher initially gave him a B minus. Imagine that. But Bob, he wasn't one to give up. He sent his flag design to his congressman, Walter Moeller. And what do you know? Congress was impressed. Bob's design made it all the way to President Dwight D. Eisenhower's desk. The president liked what he saw and signed the proclamation making Bob's flag design official on July 4th, 1960. That's how he got the Star Spangled Banner we all know and love today. So the next time you see those stars and stripes waving high, remember the young high schooler, Bob Heft, who had the vision to make our flag a symbol of unity for all 50 states, even after that B minus. And that, my friends, is the fast fun fact about the origin of our modern United States flag. It all started as a high school project, a bit of a B minus, and became a symbol of our great nation. Until next time, stay curious and toodaloo!